so I just saw a bunch of the Blockstream, or not a bunch, there's like three of them, but like none of them wanted to have an open debate about the scaling issue, but the difference between BTC and BCH. Tonight, they were invited to do it, so uh, let's go ask them why none of them wanted to do it. So they're right over here. Hey, hey, Ruben. I'm, I'm, nice to see you. I'm not trying to ambush you, but we are on camera. And I, I did hear that there was an invitation extended to like all the Blockstream supporters in Korea to have like a discussion or debate about uh, the differences between oh, BTC yeah, and BCH. Yeah. I'm curious why. What I heard is that nobody accepted. And nobody wanted oh, to. Yeah, it. that's correct. Um, do you mind telling us why nobody wanted to do that? Or I think uh, I think people have debated with you a lot already, so we didn't really feel like. We could add anything new to it, basically. Okay. And the last time you and I talked about this, you told me that you thought that the moderation policies on our, beat, our Bitcoin and Bitcoin talk of deleting posts of people that are in favor of on-chain scaling and the original yeah. version of Bitcoin, you thought that deleting of those posts were a good thing? Is that still uh, your, no, your no, thought? No, that's not what I said. Um, I think moderation is necessary. Um, I don't know specifically about those posts. So how about my own posts that got deleted? Like, yeah, so I'm not entirely certain. I can imagine that maybe it wasn't appropriate. What was not appropriate? Was, maybe. Well, I, I don't know okay. because I haven't looked into it specifically. Um, even going to be recorded. I, yeah, well, we're being recorded now. If, if you want to call it to an end right now, that, that's fine too. No, no pressure. Um, you and I have known each other like five years or something. It's been a while. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. It's been a while for sure. Um, yeah, so I, I think you cannot have a forum without moderation. Um, so therefore, I think it's all right to, uh, to do something like that. Do you think that the moderation has crossed the line on our Bitcoin there? Um, I think it's good if we have multiple places that uh, allow uh, for different opinions and different views uh, on, in different places because you know, the Bitcoin uh, uh, cash uh, opinion uh, conflicts with that of, uh, of people that uh, are in favor of, kind of the Bitcoin uh, core uh, development uh, mentality, right? So, so if, if you put those two communities together, I think that's kind of terrible, right? There's a lot of, there's going to be a lot of fighting and there's there seem to be some fundamental disagreements that to me seem like it's perfect to just split split them up and you know, have our BTC, our Bitcoin and, and I think that's a great solution actually. Yeah. So from my point of view it seemed like things really really got hostile and nasty when the censorship started and before that it was just heated discussion. Was that your experience being on the other um, opinion side of this debate? Yeah, or? I, think, uh, I think it was very unpleasant uh, for the people that got uh, censored like myself that, and Brian Armstrong yeah, had a and different opinion to uh, to be told to uh, go take that opinion somewhere else I think that was very unpleasant uh, but uh, you know I'm a, I'm a I'm a moderator myself from very like like I run uh, our Bitcoin discussion together with uh, Mario Gitney he's the, he's the main guy and um, in, in my experience at least like moderation isn't easy and there, there's not really an easy solution to to doing that when does moderation cross the line into censorship and do you think that we cross that line within the Bitcoin community? Um, I don't think it's censorship as long as other people can open their own forums and, and be heard. Um, I personally have been interested in hearing uh, the other side, your side, and I haven't felt like I haven't been able to get that opinion. And as long as I can get that opinion and, and, and get myself educated on on uh, on different views, I don't think censorship is taking place personally. And how about all the new people that are just on the periphery of Bitcoin and they wind up on our Bitcoin because it's the place where more people get their Bitcoin news than every other news site combined. Yeah. And they only get to hear one side of the opinion. How? What, what do you think of that? I think uh, that is... Um, well, well, it's the internet. I mean, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> it's the internet. I mean, you're free to go on whatever site you want to, and uh, we're not stopping anyone from going on to a certain particular site. And so, you know, they're free to come here. They're free to go there. I mean, it just happens that our Bitcoin has a bigger uh, audience. So it has a bigger audience than probably every single other Bitcoin discussion website combined. Um, That's a pretty big audience. Well. That's just the characteristic. I don't think I don't. Okay. We're not stopping anyone from going here. We're not stopping anyone. I'm, from I'm going not accusing else. you of stopping people from to going to other websites. But do you think that that's a good thing for the free expression of ideas for one side to have their posts instantly deleted from our Bitcoin? 
Well, this is uh, not no website represents Bitcoin. So this I didn't ask about other websites. I'm asking about no, our Bitcoin. Nothing represents Bitcoin. Okay. So, so having our Bitcoin be our Bitcoin isn't a problem for Bitcoin. Okay, so I'm asking about our Bitcoin specifically. Do you think that it's a good moderation policy to have posts from people like myself or Brian Armstrong, the CEO of Coinbase, have our posts instantly deleted if we say something that's not in a, in lockstep with the opinion of Bitcoin core supporters? Do you think that's a good or a bad thing? Uh, again, I'm going to say this again. Bitcoin isn't represented by any websites. So, so that, that's not the question that I asked you. The, well, que the question is, that I asked you is, do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing that posts from people like myself or Brian Armstrong or anybody that supports the original version for Bitcoin, which is to scale to be cash for the world, do you think that that's a good thing or a bad thing that their posts are being deleted well, from our Bitcoin? I this last time we talked about I this. don't think I understood. No Can Bitcoin, you repeat it for me again? It represents Bitcoin. It's not representative of Bitcoin, so okay. it doesn't matter what they do. Like so I'm going to ask you for the th I'm going to ask you for the third time. Right. Can you answer my question, please? I've asked you very calmly and politely. This is the third time. Do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing that people with opinions similar to my own or Brian Armstrong's have our posts deleted? Time. This is the fourth time. Nothing represents Bitcoin. It doesn't matter one entity. I mean, if one entity does. I gave you a binary option. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? And I'm telling you, nothing represents Bitcoin, so it doesn't matter. The question is pointless. So you're refusing to answer my question because you're saying my question is pointless as to whether or not it's a good thing or a bad thing that people like myself are having our opinions censored from our Bitcoin? Is that what you're telling me? Because they always have RBTC to go to, so I don't... So there is that. So nothing represents Bitcoin. You could even say RBTC represents Bitcoin. Except for nothing that our Bitcoin, Bitcoin gets more traffic than every single other Bitcoin news and discussion website Maybe combined. And, and what, why, why is that a problem? I mean, isn't that the free market? Everybody's free to go to the website that they choose. And uh, you're, you're trying to compete with that and uh, maybe maybe you'll be successful, maybe you won't be. Right? It's been a year now. So um, is, isn't that just a free market? Or do you think that there's some kind of manipulation going on or some uh, you know, people are being... Uh, um, are not able to reach the truth, so and therefore their opinion is different. Is so I'll, I'll give you an example of that. So I think the KKK are a bunch of racist idiots, and I think they're wrong with their ideology. But I think that they should be allowed to say their opinion yeah. and try to convince people as to why they think that they're right. And people like myself, and I assume yourself, who think that they're about, they're wrong with their racist ideology. Are you comparing KKK to Bitcoin? I'm comparing the free supporting a free speech. I support the KKK's K's right to express their ideas. I have absolutely no idea why that matters to Bitcoin. Apparently, that's a real big uh, symbol of our difference of ideology. I think people with opinions different to my own should be allowed to express them. And they you, are allowed to. It's the internet. I, I, I don't disagree with that. Okay. I, I, agree, I agree that people should be allowed to and express And they are them. allowed to express their okay. opinions. So I'll, I'll ask you for the fourth time. It's a private website. It's not a public website. So on this private website, is a good thing or a bad thing that people with my point of view in regards to Bitcoin, some of the unquestionably has been around and played a big role in the evolution of Bitcoin to where it is today, is it a good thing or a bad thing that I have my posts deleted from our Bitcoin? I am not a moderator of our Bitcoin. So you're not willing to take a stand? I think Ruben might be willing. Is it a good thing um, or a bad thing? Well, I mean, I think you shouldn't put it that black and white, so... It is uh, black and white. So my posts sense, are deleted. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to answer it either. Um, but uh, My posts get deleted if I post yeah, on our Bitcoin. Yeah, is that good or bad? I think, I think your opinion needs to be heard. I don't think it matters so much whether uh, a forum uh, censors or... Sorry, I don't think censorship is the right word. Moderates uh, content. Like, for example, if people wanted to talk about Ethereum on a Bitcoin forum, that would be clearly like... A, uh, I'm, I'm, I feel I'm pretty clearly talking about Bitcoin. I'm still a large BTC holder as well. I own Bitcoin.com. My opinion's pretty clearly relevant. Well, that's that's where there's a disagreement, right? Like some people think like Bitcoin is, is to a certain degree not uh, not uh, not represented by uh, uh, by Bitcoin Cash, and other people do. So you know, like I, I think there um, it's it's unfortunate uh, that there is such a disagreement. But but if that's the case, then you you have no choice but to split those two communities. Um, so yeah. As much as I regret that we couldn't stick together and have both sides uh, talk about both sides in a way that was uh, uh, helpful and maybe maybe would allow us to kind of come together more, um, I, I think it ended up becoming impossible. And if I were a moderator, I think I'd be also. I can imagine being in a really tough position, having to uh, having to, to try to do something about that. So I'm I'm very glad. Like to, to make a more positive note, I'm very glad that uh, you know, something like RBTC came up where uh, people with that opinion were able.
able to express it. And I think that is very important. Uh, and, and, and that part of it, I, I can fully support. Uh, I think it's important for people to be able to choose whether they like Bitcoin Cash or, or, or uh, regular Bitcoin. Uh, that is uh, up to them. And, uh, and in that sense, I'm, uh, I'm, I think it's completely okay. Okay, yeah. so can I ask you another question? So the title of the Bitcoin Defining White Paper written by Satoshi Nakamoto is Bitcoin, yeah. a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. Does that more closely describe Bitcoin Cash or BTC today? Um, yeah, I think that's also irrelevant because... It's irrelevant? Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's about irrelevant time because... Well, yeah, it's, it's relevant because what matters is uh, what we can... if we can make it work or not. So, you know, if, if the white paper describes something that's literally technically possible, which we might disagree on, right? Okay. Uh, but so you're if, saying if that... If it did, uh, then uh, I, would, uh, I would think it would make sense to uh, diverge from uh, the literal wording of the white paper. Okay. Uh, and whether or not that Colin, right? Calvin. Cal I'm sorry, Calvin. So last time Calvin told me that the, the Bitcoin described in the Bitcoin white paper was impossible. Do you uh, agree or certain, disagree uh, with Calvin? certain aspects of it. Um, I think SPV proofs uh, are uh, difficult because you cannot prove uh, 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 when uh, the SPV proof itself is missing. Um, and, and because of that, uh, sorry, uh, I'm talking about the fraud proofs actually. The fraud proof. So SPV is only, uh, is only proving that a certain amount of proof of work has occurred, but it doesn't prove anything about validity. Uh, so in order to combat that, uh, Satoshi thought about fraud proofs. And uh, unfortunately, uh, where we are today, we can't really make fraud proofs work uh, the way that uh, Satoshi envisions, envisioned. So I think that part of it is uh, you can't consider broken. Yeah. So, so do you think BTC works as a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash? Um, and is that the goal of the BTC project today? I think uh, any currency that is not, any cryptocurrency that's not currently being regulated works as P2P cash. Is that the goal of the BTC project, is to have it be a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system? Um, I think that's one of the goals, yeah. Okay. I don't think that's the main goal. Um, okay. Censorship resistance has to proceed. Do you, do you think being peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash is the main goal of Bitcoin Cash? Um, it seems to be the case, yeah. So if yeah. Bitcoin Cash's main goal is exactly what's stated in the title of the Bitcoin white paper, and that's not the main goal of the BTC camp, which one has more Bitcoinness about it? Um, well, even though I think that's the goal, you want to add out to it? Yeah, uh, even, even though I think that's the goal, uh, I, I don't really... Um, uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought there. So I can rephrase the question if you'd like? Or? Uh, yeah, say it again. So the BTC camp's goal is not to be a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. That's not their main goal. Bitcoin Cash's main goal is to be a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. The title of the Bitcoin oh, yeah, yeah. Defining White Paper is a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. Does that make you think that Bitcoin Cash has more Bitcoinness about it than BTC does at this point? Um, so, uh, just to ask the question and wrap it up. Um, I think um, censorship resistance has to come first because it's not going to be peer-to-peer -peer if it's not censorship resistant. Um, and if the um, so the goal is some the, the main goal for BTC is not what in the very title of the white paper being the goal? I think you can't reach the goal without censorship resistance, therefore it comes first. So, so don't, there are both so, goals, but one has to proceed the other. So which one is more Bitcoin at this point? The one that's trying to be a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, or the one that's trying to be a censorship resistant something? Yeah, I, I think it doesn't really matter. Um, so, okay, so uh, to, to wrap up the interview, um, yeah, I, I think it's unfortunate, like, the, I think the, the reason we're having this discussion is um, uh, for you to try to kind of like out me uh, as somebody having some kind of unreasonable opinion, or at least that's what it feels like to me. Uh, and state I don't state know, the case. Yeah, I don't know um, um, if that's like a good thing to do, uh, and uh, and I think that's kind of why also we initially said no to this this kind of interview uh, because you know it kind of feels like you're you're trying to draw me out to say something. Uh, that is objectionable and, and use it as a soundbite or something like that. Whereas I, I would prefer to have a honest conversation about our differences and and hopefully kind of like come together and, and try to understand both sides more. So that's that's what I would like to see. I, I think we're doing that now. I'm not, um, I'm not interrupting. Well, and you, you can know, say your well, point. I, I, think, I, certainly don't feel that way. I, I think we're not really talking here. Uh, you're, you're not here to be convinced by me. You're you're here to have an interview and put it on camera and, and have have that be uh, uh, you know, some kind of statement for, for your goals, 
uh, which you know I think. Maybe, it, you can know, I say what my goal is? Um, no, uh, I, I mean, I, well, yeah, sorry, you can, but like, I, Go I, mean, yeah. I don't think that's the point. Um, um, I, I think the point is, uh, I would like to have a conversation with you, uh, maybe off camera, and and uh, and I would like to uh, have kind of the opportunity uh, to explain better uh, what my views are, um, and and the, the main reason why I feel that way is because uh, um, you know I think a lot of the questions are. are are leading. Can I ask a question? Um, oh, yeah, <laughs> uh, maybe yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, a leading yeah. question. Yeah. Yeah, Interesting uh, timing there. Yeah, no, but my, my question is, why yeah, wouldn't right. why wouldn't you want it to all be on camera so that people can hear directly from your mouth exactly yeah. what you're thinking about this, and then people can make up their own minds and decide uh -huh. what they agree with and what they think based on hearing yeah. directly from you? Yeah, and I think if that happened on my terms, maybe it would be okay. I, I don't think I'm quite the hero on camera. I get a little nervous, okay. um, so you know, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't help. Um, That's fair. And, uh, uh, and my, as far as my personal goal, I, I, I don't think uh, I don't think uh, anybody who chose for Bitcoin Cash at this point is, go, is going to change their minds. Uh, I think a lot of uh, so what, one of your soul, if I can interject here, yeah. um, Ali. Right, yeah. so um, I forget his last name, but uh, guy's been involved in Bitcoin early here in Seoul. Was yeah. doing a remittance startup uh, using Bitcoin. Yeah, the fees absolutely destroyed his his startup. Is, is he a big core supporter still, or where uh, is he? He's doing very well. He's Bec still a Bitcoin supporter. So he, because he contacted me a couple of months ago and said if I uh, would give him money, he would switch to supporting Bitcoin Cash with his business. And I thought that seemed like a really strange reason. For me, we should use whatever's useful, and Bitcoin Cash is more useful as cash than Bitcoin Core. That's why I switched from using BTC for all of my financial things to BCH because it works. It just plain works better. Not because say he said, she said with this. You can ask him. Is he here tonight? We can ask him. He's here. He is here. I like Ollie. I, I like I like all of you guys. Said, like I've known yeah, you for yeah, a long yeah, time. I, yeah, could, We'd love yeah, to ask him, but I thought it seemed like a strange. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We did. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. No. No, good, good no disagreement on that. On that front. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm just the first I've heard of it. I, I'd be rather shocked if that was true, uh, but at the same time, I, so I have I, information. So. I, asked, I asked Calvin last time, so I'll ask you, when was the last time you made an on-chain BTC or any cryptocurrency uh, yeah, transaction? I, mean, I happen to do it reg regularly because I use it for uh, uh, for my prepaid uh, phones. So I, regularly means monthly or weekly or every two months? Twice a month. You used it like Monday, yeah. You used it Monday? You used it. You used it Monday. And that was the yeah, BTC so network? I sent somebody a dollar. Um, yeah. No, you sent me a dollar, right. And, uh, what was your experience with that? On it, uh, it was quick, it was fast, it was uh, very cheap. How cheap was it? I, I don't think that's relevant. Like, uh, how? Ch I think it's relevant, right? We're trying to make frictionless cash for the world. Well, I mean, ten cents, a dollar. Like, like, what? What was it? I mean, y y yeah. Let me uh, uh, like. Um, would you, would you, I haven't used BTC hardly at all for but, but since you, December you, of last year. I was just done. Resistance matters to some degree, right? Of course, uh, of course. And, uh, and like, do you uh, think that BT? Do you think that Bitcoin Cash is censorable? Um, well, yes, but I mean, who's not, had their BCH transaction censored? Uh, that's not what I said, right? Like I said, it's censorable. I don't, okay. I don't think it's censored. Um, but, uh, and what about people that don't have a lot of money and can't afford to pay high fees? Which well, uh, which uh, one is more useful to them in their lives? I mean, uh, now you're moving on to you're, you're moving to gold bus, right? Um, so I, I think with Bitcoin, um, because censorship resistance needs to come first, in, in my opinion at least, uh, that will automatically uh, um, conflict with scaling. And, and therefore, there, there is some kind of trade-off. Like you can always be cheaper if you're less decentralized. So and I, 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 I would say like there's a disagreement on where that line is, right? And, and I don't think it's a clear line. Right? And I don't think everybody uh, uh, agrees exactly where that is. Do you think that for sure the line is at one megabyte? Um, no, no, I don't think for sure the line is at one megabyte. Okay. No, no. So do we think somebody knows exactly where that line is, and a small group of developers should choose exactly what that line is in yeah. the, uh, well, in the uh, sand? I mean, I. I are you still okay with like talking more? Or, and if uh, you want to, if you want to bow out, that's fine. I think you're you're still okay to talk about this a little bit. I, I am okay. We have a so dinner to go <laughs> Okay, I think we're going to the same dinner to be honest. So, so. yeah. And uh, you know, like I expressed earlier, I, I I think I would like to talk more like off camera to um, explain explain my thoughts more. Um, have you tried using yeah. Bitcoin Cash? Um, have I tried using Bitcoin Cash? I don't think so. No. Can I give you some? You have your um, phone handy? No. Uh, I'll give you free money. And okay. Do you have your phone handy? I'll give you some too, so you can see how it uses. Uh,
You don't want free money? Um, no, I don't want to hassle with that now. Yeah. Um, can I ask why you're uh, scared to even use it? So no, I'm, I'm not scared. So. You can send it to me later if you want. Yeah, uh, I just don't want to do the hassle. We'll go through the hassle now. So, so it looks like you're about to use Shapeshift to, to convert it. Let's do an experiment, actually. I'll send you 10 bucks worth of Bitcoin Cash that you can convert into Bitcoin Core and see how much you get. And you send me 10 bucks worth of Bitcoin Core that will convert into Bitcoin Cash. And we'll see how much each of us wind up with back in our wallets. And that'll be an interesting experiment to see which currency is more useful as cash. Does that sound like a, a fun experiment to do? Uh, no, I just want it. I just want free money. Ruben, can I, I'll hand you Korean won out of my pocket if you want to give me the equivalent amount in Bitcoin Core that I'll convert and we'll see how much of it winds up back in my wallet. Are you willing to do that? Or no, I don't have any BTC on my phone to even try. Cause, that sounds like a good deal. Yeah. I mean, do, do you, and I'll pay you double. Do you think that will, will show me something that I don't know? I or think, is it for the camera? Like, I mean, again, like, are we... I think it's for everybody to see. <laughs> and, and here's what I suspect will happen. So let, yeah. let's say you send me $10 of BTC that then gets converted but, into but Bitcoin on, Cash. Do we even disagree? I mean, uh, I, I agree that Bitcoin uh, is more expensive than Bitcoin Cash. So there's no, uh, you're not getting any disagreement from it. Okay, and so which one works better as cash today? Um, I, I think that is not the same thing because if something is more uh, uh, more prone to be censored, it's not going to be usable as, okay. as, ca as cash. Do you know of anybody who's had their Bitcoin no, cash? No, but, but neither has okay. a Ripple. Like, and well, Ripple, I think, is, is, is very is, useful. And I've, I've, been, I've been censored from using PayPal. I've never been yeah, censored from using Bitcoin Cash. Visa is very. I've been censored from using Visa. Visa card is yeah. very good. So, so here we so go. Anyway, do you know anybody it. that's been censored from using Bitcoin Cash? Do you know anybody that's been censored from using Ripple? No. XRP hashtag XRP no, I don't. I, standard. I don't. XRP standard hashtag I, XRP standard. I don't know of a single person that's had their XRP hashtag key. XRP standard. Tell us more what that means, because I, I've been. I don't know. They just know. say it. Hashtag XRP standard. So you're saying something. You have no idea what it means, and you're repeating it over and over to the camera. And I'll take some money. Can you tell me what XRP standard means? It's a hashtag. I don't. What does it mean? You, so you said it like ten it's times, a, and you don't know. It seems to be devolving yep. a little bit now. Um, so it, why? Anyway, can my, I ask my one last question uh, to you know continue this conversation off camera? If okay. You'd like. Can I ask you one more question before I give you some free money? Uh, in Bitcoin, yes. I'm going to give you Bitcoin Cash, and you can do what you want with it from there. Uh, but it's my, going to give me Bitcoin. So. Okay. So my question to you: Why did you repeat like ten times into the camera hashtag XRP standard, but you don't know what it means? Why would you repeat something ten times and not know what it even means? Is are you trying to fish for something? No, I I, ha I don't know what it means. You said it ten times to the camera. I still don't know what it means. I'm asking you: What fun. does that mean? It's fun. Hashtag XRP standard. So you're saying it because it's fun, and you no, don't know what fun. it means? No. I, I, it's not an important thing. No, it's, that seems really strange. So here, here's your ten dollars in Bitcoin Cash. I'll send you ten thousand won, which is about the same, a little bit less. So, so here we can watch. So I'm sending ten thousand Korean won. The fee to do that is going to be two Korean won to do that. How much is that in Satoshi? Uh, one Satoshi per byte. So much less in Satoshi's per byte than Bitcoin Core would be. And I'm roaming with my Japan phone here in Korea, so it's a little bit slower than it would be normally. So you can see the fee is 2 Korean won, 0.000243 BCH. So I hit slide to send, and we're sending that. And is this the Shapeshift website, or where am I sending it to for you? You're sending it to a Shapeshift address. That's all you're going to tell me? Or? It's a Shapeshift address. I don't okay. know how else. And if I was on Wi-Fi or local, it would go even faster. There we go. My payment's been sent. So. Still awaiting deposit. Yeah. So, Bitcoin Cash transactions support zero confirmation. Shape Shift. I don't know what their their deal is there, but uh, the payment's been sent. So. It's obviously that they don't think zero confirmations are safe. Well, maybe that's a problem on Shapeshift side, so. Okay. Yeah. So one last time, can you tell me what hashtag XRP standard means? It sounds fun. I say it. I understand. I say it, at the meetup. it sounds fun. What does it mean? It sounds fun. I I see it on Twitter. I say it. Do you know what it means? Uh, it sounds fun. I say it on. I say it. On so the, I heard you the first four times when you said right. that. I'm asking you a different question. Do you even know what this that means? Yes or no? XRP is the standard. You can't answer a yes or no question. I'm not asking you what it means. I'm asking, do you even know what it means? Roger, come on. I mean, this is not going anywhere. So yeah, come on. Ask the question. Just let him go. 
Does that seem strange to you to behave that way on camera? I, I think... I'm asking I, you. I thought it was slightly strange, but okay. I don't think uh, you should make such a big deal out of it. Okay, that's fine. I, I think it's really strange when i you know spending time talking, uh, trying to have a conversation. And anyhow, thank you for having yeah. a, a great great conversation. Um, yeah, so yeah, I, I don't know. I, I hope we can like talk a little more off camera. Okay, maybe if there's um, time this evening. So. Also, I think I should say like, uh, I, I do think this was a little sudden for me and uh, and I would like to see the footage first before I sign off on uh, whether or not I'm comfortable with having it uh, being uploaded, but I will seriously I, consider it. I, 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 I told you from the very get-go that we were recording, so I, I don't think I, I hit that I, I know these, that, so. but I, I do think that that was uh, well, you know, something I, I have really, I didn't really answer and I... I appreciate uh, the I request, but about now, we're going to post the full thing so everybody can see it. And if uh, you don't want, well, if you want to end it I right think there, it's very rude for you to do that. Uh, if you think that it's well. okay to post something like this uh, while I uh, am requesting that you show it to me first. Okay. Well, you you, uh, you just witnessed it firsthand. You saw what happened. So anyhow, sorry, sorry if you think I'm being rude about that. But we're going to post it. So and if you don't want to shake my hand, that's fine. Yeah, Th yeah, thank that you for that your time, very Ruben. Rude. Okay. Well, okay. See you, Roger. Okay. There you have it. So won't answer even a simple question. Hello, hello. Hi.